All right, folks, getting right into this next one here. Appreciate y'all coming on board. Let's go. Okay, so what we're talking about today, uh, the batches are this. The stitching looks like that. The inconsistencies, if you will, the color textures of the superfluous materials of the non-understanding cubescent of the who the fuck cares that's the title for today nobody cares uh shout out to snide sb um for coming out with a video you know what let's take a look real quick let's talk about these these batches with their flaws okay and how it really does not matter whatsoever okay now we're gonna start let's look i'm just gonna fly through some shoes here okay so unions people uh talk about like little differences like uh the wings shouldn't they should extend over the line they shouldn't some retails do some retails don't not a flaw people banging on about the fours uh oh it's cut too low at the back it's cut too high, it's cut too low, back and forth. Uh, yeah, okay, so they cut slightly low. Retails can be as well. Again, doesn't matter. A shoe that has been distressed, messed around with. I think it got bleached at one point as an experiment, so ignore that stuff. But um, people talking about how this print shouldn't be so large, it should be smaller. Nobody's noticed yet. dunk oh the embroideries at a slightly too different angle the e is slightly different from the k doesn't matter early version 277s too high up doesn't matter still rock them no one cares dior highs top batch shouldn't have the miami in should have the miami should have the numbers shouldn't have the numbers it's on the inside of the shoe Nobody sees that if you actually wear your shoes and you're not trying to rip someone off, claiming they're something that they aren't. Oh, the printing, it's got little flecks of black coming off it. That's the nature of production. You will see that on retails as well as these. It's just how it works. That's how it's applied to the shoe. Oh, the fours again, they cut way too low. Should be closer up to the jump man. Stuff I'll point out on the channel just for you guys. Stuff I don't care about because you know who's looking at that? Nobody. Nobody is looking at that. Because nobody cares about your feet. No one cares. How big headed are you that you think people care about your shoes? Okay. So you see that? <laughs> he, you can hear it in his voice. It's like nobody cares. Newsflash. I'm 39 years old. I'll be 40 in a couple of months. So five months away, I'll be 40 that day, right? Um, I have noticed exactly what Snyder is saying. And most of y'all who are in the age demographic of say 24 to 36 years old, or even hell, 24 to 40, right? Um, especially over 40. Y'all definitely know what I'm talking about, okay? Now for y'all between 18 to 24, y'all might not get this video and that's cool. I'm not calling y'all out. I'm just letting y'all know as a public service announcement that the older you get, the more people, like unless you go to sneaker cons and general assembly places where that's all they talk about, sneakers, 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 sneakers. Nobody cares, especially not no female. You know what I'm saying? Like there are female sneakerheads out there. And to the ladies that are watching this, I hope y'all taking care of yourselves and make sure to stay safe during this pandemic type of uh, world. But they're far and few in between. You know what I mean? Like many females are not sneakerheads. They really don't care. You know what I'm saying? And for us as sneakerhead, you know, husbands and boyfriends and significant others, domestic partners, whatever you want to call yourselves, um, we do what we can to try to bring the women in right but for the most part they just put the shit on feet and they go oh that's cute you know and that's as far as it goes people surprise i don't fucking care it's it's really not that deep you just buy the shoe you put the shit on it gets dirty you clean it or not because it might go with the aesthetic or the look of the actual shoe to not clean it as i've come to realize being a sneakerhead uh 
I mean, hell, just look at these right here, the Nigel, the Nigel Sylvester's. I mean, those shits look dirty from the, <laughs> and that's how they came in. That's how they come in, I should say. Whether you get the resale value shoe or you just get the replicas, which from what I understand nowadays, the replicas are really hard to come by, but I digress. Um, it's no need to really beat yourself up about what batch, whose batch, when's batch, their batch, your batch, my batch. But it really, okay, so I had got this shoe right here, as you see on the screen. If you haven't checked out that video, go check out the video. Um, you know, <laughs> the shit is crazy. You know, got the neighborhood cat that came out of nowhere, just guest starring in my video while I'm trying to review. Um, but anyway, this is shoe I got in, the University Blues Air Jordan 1. Now, mind you, I got those shoes in towards the end of November 2020. They didn't release for retail until March 2021. And they, you know, that's normal for Nike sneaker app. They came out and then they were gone. So a lot of people <laughs> hit me up and they were just like, look, fuck this. Do what you can for me to help me obtain this shoe. And now I'll be there. And I hit, I hit him with the special, you know, connections I had. And, and then the rest was history, you know? The rest was history, okay? But did they come back to me and say, hey, um, I see that there's other batches that exist with this shoe. And I need to get the best batch of the batches of batch. They didn't come to me about that nonsense. There was no need for that. If anything, as expected, they came back to me and said, wow. The quality on this is damn near retail. I didn't expect this. I really didn't expect this, Takisa. I thought it was going to be like some kind of flaw. Something that for me, I just, I'm not feeling. But these things are ridiculous. They're beautiful. I was like, I, I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all. For you out there who's watching, for my other people that's out there watching, uh, Instagram followers, things of that nature, I've been telling y'all, just like Troy mcgettin has been saying it, uh, Cola Culture, General 315. We've been trying to explain to you as clear as possible, especially Triple KTK, forget about it. These gentlemen have been trying to explain that, yes, there are various batches that's available, but you're gonna have a good amount of batches that are gonna be good, and a good amount of batches that are bad. But in reality, whether you get the LJRs, the OGs, the GDs, the H12s, the <laughs> The PKs, I don't know. It it makes better sense how Snipe put it. You got your low, medium, top tier, okay? Let me make sure. Low, medium, top. Makes sense to me. And it actually helps for it to be much easier for us to manage what we're looking for. Low tier reminds me of something that I, I would pay like 60 or 70 dollars for. The mid tier would tell me something like if it's between 100 to 130, 140. And then anything above that, that's telling me it's top tier. Okay. Um, but even with those three tiers, it's up to you, the viewer, the consumer, to actually go forward and try to figure out who's selling what. Remind you that this is the black market, people. Yeah, I'm saying it. I'm, I'm keeping it a buck. So with that being said, and let's see how many minutes we got. Well, I'm still talking. We got three minutes. Uh, you, you really don't know who's on the other side. You know, it could be a he, it could be a she, it could be a they. Well, it's definitely a they because they're human, right? So a non-binary like title actually goes better for who we're talking to nowadays on the other side of Instagram, on the other side of WhatsApp, right? Um, so with that being said, you really don't know, you know what I mean? All you can hear is, hey friend, and then you say, hey friend, hey, we're friends. And it's like, yeah, we're friends for this transaction. But that's pretty much how far it's gonna go, you know what I mean? Because anything could happen with you, anything could happen with me, and then it's not gonna be like you just show up in my house one day and like, hey, what's going on, friend? Just came to chill with you. That's, it's not gonna go that far. You know what I mean? If it has gone that far for you all, please hit me up on comments or Instagram, as you can see on the screen. Just talk to me and let me know, hey man, they actually came to my house. We had a great conversation. They knew clear English. I knew clear uh, Cantonese or Mandarin or whatever. Now, oh, cool, cool, that's what's up. But you'll be a few of the rares, <laughs> okay? Um, because usually it's just about business. PayPal, <laughs> WhatsApp, Zelle, 
uh, not what's up, Zelle, PayPal, Cash, or whatever, and they just you send the money in and that's that. But it's a personal preference and you really have to go into the whole trust factor of that supplier to know what you're actually getting. If you're getting top tier, low tier, medium tier, regardless of what you're paying, regardless of what you're paying. I actually have a supplier I've been working with, uh, Morgan, and um, they've been cool enough to let me know more about the low tier, top, uh, low tier, middle, middle tier, top tier. So more so even um, before even Snide spoke on it on his latest video. Um, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like the shoes right here, right? That's top tier. You know, it's it's, it's great quality. Um, you know, but then again, it goes back to what they just said. They could have just told me that to be like, you know what? We're going to try to get our name out there more. But, you know, at the basic level of understanding one to another, as far as just the Google Translate and trying to understand what they're saying and they're trying to understand what you're saying to them, um, it's a level of trust that you have to extend out to that person. And it's your choice to, to extend that level out. Either you're just like, yeah, I ain't fucking with them like that because they, they don't strike me as a trustworthy person. Or you'll have enough dealings with them where you're like, you know what, they're trustworthy. They're telling me the truth about it being a top tier product or a mid tier or low tier. But it's really up to you. Please understand. At the end of the day, going all the way back to what I was saying in the beginning, nobody fucking cares. You put them shits on feet, you walk out, people are going to be like, yo, them shits is hot. Or they're not, but guarantee it ain't gonna be a lot of people hitting you up with that. Because the last thing they're thinking about is what shoes you have on, or hell, even what clothes you got on. Because they're too worried about themselves and what else they're going through in their life right now. Okay? So, <laughs> my name is Takisa. Appreciate y'all listening to my tirade, my two cents, whatever you want to call it. If you have any questions or whatever, hit me up. I'm more than happy to answer those questions. But yeah, again, rock your shoes, rock them, don't stock them. Remember, it's all about me showing y'all the love of the shoe from me to you. But put them shits on feet and walk out like this. Jump off the stage like yeehaw.